Hello and welcome to see where English Ramsinath and these are the top updates. Mexican authorities found 196 migrants including 90 unaccompanied minors packed into an improperly parked tracker trailer detected on a road close to the city of 14 de las Flores. <laughs> Firefighters were trying to contain a wildfire which burned out of control and forced the evacuation of at least 4,000 people on the Spanish Iceland of La Palma Authority said. British born actress and singer Jane Birkin, who became a beloved figure in France, died in Paris at the age of 76. Et elle était tellement pour, pour, pour le style, enfin, c'est vraiment une, un modèle pour, pour beaucoup, beaucoup de gens. Je pense qu'elle va être. Très, très, les gens vont être très, très tristes de son départ. C'est vraiment quelqu'un qui, qui va manquer à la France. Et puis en plus, une Anglaise aimée par les Français, c'est quand même important pour... Elle 
elle veut pas qu'on filme. Et elle était tellement pour, pour, pour le style, enfin, c'est vraiment une, un modèle pour, pour beaucoup beaucoup de gens. Je pense qu'elle va être très très, les gens vont être très, très tristes de son départ. C'est vraiment quelqu'un qui, qui va manquer à la France. Et puis en plus, une Anglaise aimée par les Français, c'est quand même important pour... Pennsylvania's Governor George Shapiro said his administration was concerned about bad weather conditions and urged critics to remain alert. At least five people were swept away and killed by a flash flood over the weekend in Upper Upper Makefield Township. I want to say to all of you here in Bucks County and across southeastern Pennsylvania. We are concerned about some additional bad weather this evening. And so I want to make sure everyone remains alert to any sort of messages on their phones or any messages coming from their local government to avoid certain areas should weather have an impact on those areas. I want to reiterate how important it is not to drive through any sort of meaningful amount of standing water. We want people to be safe here in Bucks County and across southeastern Pennsylvania. I want to say to all of you here in Bucks County and across southeastern Pennsylvania, we are concerned about some additional bad weather this evening. And so I want to make sure everyone remains alert to any sort of messages on their phones or any messages coming from their local government to avoid certain areas should weather have an impact on those areas. I want to reiterate how important it is not to drive through any sort of meaningful amount of standing water. We want people to be safe here in Bucks County and across southeastern Pennsylvania. I want to say to all of you here in Bucks County and across southeastern Pennsylvania, we are concerned about some additional bad weather this evening. And so I want to make sure everyone remains alert to any sort of messages on their phones or any messages coming from their local government to avoid certain areas should weather have an impact on those areas. I want to reiterate how important it is not to drive through any sort of meaningful amount of standing water. We want people to be safe here in Bucks County and across southeastern Pennsylvania. I want to say to all of you here in Bucks County and across southeastern Pennsylvania, we are concerned about some additional President Vladimir Putin said Russia had a sufficient stockpile of cluster bombs and reserved the right to use them if such Monitons were deployed against Russian force in Ukraine. The quote, sufficient stockpile of different types of cluster munitions. Putin denied using them, but went on to say, if they are used against us, we reserve the right to take reciprocal action. On Thursday, Ukraine said it had received cluster bombs from the United States, its biggest military backer. The U.S. said the munitions are needed to compensate for shell shortages faced by Kiev's forces at a time when they are mounting a counteroffensive. Cluster munitions are banned in more than 100 countries, though Russia, Ukraine, and the U.S. have not signed up to the Convention on Cluster Munitions. The weapons typically release large numbers of smaller bomblets that can kill indiscriminately over a wide area. Some of them inevitably fail to explode and can pose a danger for decades, particularly to children. Ukraine has said it will use cluster bombs to dislodge concentrations of enemy soldiers when trying to take back its own territory, but will not use them on Russian territory. Putin said to quote, sufficient stockpile of different types of cluster munitions. Putin denied using them, but went on to say, if they are used against us, we reserve the right to take reciprocal action. On Thursday, Ukraine said it had received cluster bombs from the United States, its biggest military backer. The U.S. said the munitions are needed to compensate for shell shortages faced by Kyiv's forces at a time when they are mounting a counteroffensive. Cluster munitions are banned in more than 100 countries, though Russia, Ukraine, and the U.S. have not signed up to the Convention on Cluster Munitions. The weapons typically release large numbers of smaller bomblets that can kill indiscriminately over a wide area. Some of them inevitably fail to explode and can pose a danger for decades, particularly to children. 
Ukraine has said it will use cluster bombs to dislodge concentrations of enemy. Britain joined the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, becoming the first new country to take part since its inception in 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to have We are honored spanning Asia, the Pacific, and now Europe. This is a modern and ambitious agreement, and our membership of this exciting, growing, and forward-looking bloc is proof that the UK's doors are open for business. It brings the Atlantic to the Indo-Pacific in a way that strengthens the rules-based trading system in our region, and it benefits our exporters, providing greater certainty, and it helps to improve our regional supply chains. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to announce. We are honored spanning Asia, the Pacific, and now Europe. This is a modern and ambitious agreement, and our membership of this exciting, growing, and forward-looking bloc is proof that the UK's doors are open for business. It brings the Atlantic to the Indo-Pacific in a way that strengthens the rules-based trading system in our region, and it benefits our exporters, providing greater certainty, and it helps to improve our regional supply chains. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to announce. We are honored. The European Union and Tunisia sign a memorandum of understanding for a strategic and comprehensive partnership on irregular migration, economic development and renewable energy. The signing ceremony in attended by Tunisia's President Kass said Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte, Italy's Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni and European Commission Chief Ursula von der Leyen. Lionel Messi and his family arrive at the RVPNK Stadium ahead of his official unveiling as an Inter Miami player. Spain's Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez holds an electoral rally in Barcelona. One week ahead of the national vote, opinion polls are placing victory in the hands of his right wing opposition rival Alberto Nunes Fizzo. Sanchez calls everyone off guard in May when he called for snapped elections after the left was defeated in local and regional elections. 
porque España crece como nunca, crea empleo como nunca y controla la inflación como ninguna otra de las grandes economías de nuestro país. Aquellos que no hemos hecho otra cosa que trabajar para proteger a la gente o damos la razón a aquellos que lo único que han hecho ha sido empeñarse en destruir, en destruir y en destruir. Estas elecciones porque no hemos hecho bien, porque España crece como nunca, crea empleo como nunca y controla la inflación como ninguna otra de las grandes economías de nuestro país. Aquellos que no hemos hecho otra cosa que trabajar para proteger a la gente o damos la razón a aquellos que lo único que han hecho ha sido empeñarse en destruir, en destruir y en destruir. Estas elecciones porque no hemos hecho bien. Porque España crece como nunca, crea empleo como nunca y controla la inflación como ninguna otra de las grandes economías de nuestro país. stand card outside the home of British French singer and actor Jenny Perkin, who died aged 76 in her adopted home of Paris. The cause of death and other details are not immediately known. Birkin catap catapulted in fame though her troubled relationship with legendary singer song writer songwriter Serg Gainsbourg and her heavily accented French. In a diplomatic comeback, Syria and Iraq are making efforts to build ties. The Iraq Prime Minister has become the first Iraqi leader of visit Damascus since the outbreak of the Syrian war in 2011. Syrian President Wasser al-Assad hosted the Iraqi Prime Minister for talks in Damascus. This concern to us is the security challenge. We need to preserve the security and stability of our brotherly countries and we need more coordination between security entities, especially in border areas. I second your excellency on the challenge of drugs. This is a serious phenomenon which threatens our society and affects our youth in a damaging and critical way. We have discussed and agreed control and monitoring mechanisms on the best way to deal with this phenomenon. Of greatest concern to us is the security challenge. We need to preserve the security. Two people were killed and their daughter was wounded in what Russia said was a Ukrainian attack on the Crimea Bridge. The Gorge Bridge served as an artery for Russian troops in Ukraine and is a prestige Russian project personally opened by Russian President Vladimir Putin. Quoting sources news, agency AFP stated that the attack was carried out by the Ukrainian Secretary Service and the Navy.
vehicles and roads were damaged after flash flooding in Pennsylvania over the weekend. South Korean President Yoon suk yeol blamed authorities' failure to follow disaster response rules for the deaths of dozens of people following torrential rains. John Kerry, the U.S. Special Presidential Envoy for Climate, landed in Beijing on Sunday for a four-day visit. U.S. and China will exchange views on working together to address climate change. Right now, the key issue here is methane emissions that's responsible for 30% of global warming. John Kerry says Beijing has agreed to have a methane action plan. Crater's gas flow remains negative because of a nearly 50% drop in advertising revenue and a heavy debate load. Elon Musk said on Saturday, falling short of his expectation in March that Twitter could reach cash flow positive by June. Well, that was the wrap-up bulletin. For more news and updates, keep watching CVR English with Sinat.